Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap with massive side questing done, the Castor Wilds traversed and completed, the bow gain is our latest item, with the Pegasus Boots allowing us to get over the swampy water, we head into a new area and start to explore the Wind Ruins. Let's get looking around here. Oh, it seems we've got levers appearing. Bumble wall. No problem seeing that, that's for sure. And something interesting over there, but we'll check out this first. For the time being, a treasure chest with a blue kinstone? No problemo, we'll take that. And no other secrets seem to be in here, just a singular blue treasure chest or kinstone piece. But you, if anything, are probably my enemy. And you seem to be a little bit stuck there, sir, so we'll use that to our advantage and take you out. Kind of recognized them from before, but didn't realize they'd end up being such big and chunky. So many Zelda games have these statues appeared in. Activate when you touch them or not when you touch them. What's going on here? No activation? Well, we'll head down then. Oh, here. In fact, if I were to say anything, that shield, is that a ladder to climb up? Well, we'll check here first. See if he's got a little bit of a hint or a tip. And get ourselves a red kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. So many of them there are. These iron automata here were built by the Minish ages ago to help humans. It's kind of a secret, but there's a switch inside that turns them on or off. Indeed. So, there was definitely a ladder. So we'll climb up, hit the switch, turn it on, and into a fret. I'm not quite sure how they're supposed to help humans when it's quite obviously trying to attack me, sir. And this one didn't get so stuck, but... It'll activate and reactivate when it wants to. Ow, I didn't even get my spin attack on. Hey, hey, stop hitting me. Stop bashing into me. How dare you, impolite. Impolite, that's what you are. But we get ourselves another kinstone piece, no problem, no. Make ourselves a shortcut, but where are we going? Where's our final destination here? Let's take out one of you. Look for more kinstone pieces in the meantime. I'm pretty sure... Ow! Bouncy back. I'm pretty sure... Are these anything? Hmm. Seems to be something that would reside here. And there's vines that maybe I can climb? Indeed, it looks like I might be able to. Let's take out all these enemies first and keep going along. Defeating them all has opened the path. No secrets seem to be hidden there. Stop jumping at me, sirs! Another one taken down, a lever appearing. And what seems to be another little bit of a bud or some such? I'd have to say, but we'll continue onwards for now. Alright, where do we need to shrink down at? Let's take out all the enemies first, because it seems there's a long way round to reach that automata, and I'm guessing... Yes, you're defaulted to off. I would cut this grass. Well, Kinstone Peace is found, not bad. But I'm pretty sure it always respawns whenever we go in or out of this. Oh, no. No problemo. We've made ourselves shortcuts without an issue. Let's turn this one on. And get fighting it once again. I'm glad that we can make the shortcuts after we've gone through them, but I don't see myself traversing through here again. Unless there's tons of kinstone treasures or something like that. Ow, sir! You bashed into me after the spin attack. How dare you? And you nearly got me as well. Another one bites the dust. Another kinstone enters our inventory. My luck seems to be pretty high for them. Except, see? Look at that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Find them all over the place, but no secrets hidden in the ground. No secret ladders or anything like that. These guys are all activated by the look of it. Seems they speed up once we hit them a little bit. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. We could just minish and turn them all off. Ah. Okay, super problematic scenery there. It's blocking the way for us. 
So, with that said, we need to definitely turn that one off. As long as I can actually get up. There we go. Let's turn you off. It seems you're the only one that rushes for the point. We'll defeat the other ones in case they've got something hiding underneath. No, nothing hiding there. He's trying to run away at this point. There's another one defeated, but I'm wondering what is with this? Can't pull it, can't roll against it. Can we bomb it? Can we Pegasus boots it? Questions, questions. No, no way through that. I wonder if we defeat all of these apart from the one that we can't defeat, will it open up? Well, the question is, or well, the answer is, yes. We got ourselves a hundred rupees. So much near the rupee cap. And 50 mysterious shells as well. I could probably buy myself tons of figurines by now. And you are completely deactivated. Sorry, sir. It's just the way it had to be. All right, then, snake. Lots of rocks around. Anything hidden under these? Hmm. What are the rocks for? Are they maybe to block something? Am I removing my color by accident? I don't know. Well, the same. We get ourselves a lot of goodies within. How dare these snakes take two hits as well? Oh, there you are. Well, at least I can now brick break you guys. And by beating all the enemies, that's what the rocks were for, just for hiding a few of them. Defeating all the enemies enables us to go further forward. To where is the question? Well, you can jump back as a shortcut there, but I think we might have found ourselves a new dungeon, don't you think? Right. Let's get exploring. We've got door number one, door number two, door number three. Which way to go first? Or door number four? Or a big rupee over there by the look of it, but I'm guessing we can do something about this mush or sand or something such. One of these pushable, outable, inable, treasure chesty heartable. And to be honest, it looks like more like a room that I'd enter from a different passage than here. Owl zapping! Well, I can check each one to push, but again, there doesn't seem to be a marker on the floor that says push me this way or that way. Hmm. Well, let's head through door number one. Hmm. To think the ruins were hidden within this cliff the whole time. Watch your step, Ollis. There may be traps in here. There may be indeed, but I'm more interested in getting small and going through there. All right, let's check each door in kind and see if any room has like a single solitary puzzle to it. If anything, this is the entrance room, isn't it? Okay. And then we've got this room over here, which has just skulls in the corner and another way down. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that heart piece for our journey through here. Let's take the hearts and get on traveling through the first room. Find a ton of skeletons! Jumpy skeletons of doom! Yeah, try and jump me if you want. I'm just going to step out of the way. Oh, or step under you again. Ah, oh, or walk into you. All skeletons defeated. That's not revealing any treasures for me, but arrows gained is never bad. Right. A big treasure chest up there. Monsters. All around. Time to defeat you one by one then. One down, no problem. Oop, and we'll roll through. I'll get rid of one straight away, but we need keys before we can head through here. Hmm, problematic. Well, all the same, we can still head up. Grab ourselves a dungeon map. Check it on your map screen. Lighter rooms are ones you visited. The blinking room is your location. And we will check all the floors, that's for sure. So, we've got ourselves... I only remember four doors. There's a fifth room? Hmm. So the dark ones are the ones we haven't visited yet. So there's a fifth room far to the left. Apart from that, it seems we've got ourselves tons of rooms to travel through. Now how to get that heart piece is the real question. Let's defeat both of you. Hopefully you stay gone when I've got you down. 
Five extra arrows, no treasure chests obtained though. For our trouble, let's head out here and see where it leads. Well, it seems like I'm gonna need the boomerang to check a fair bit here. Pressure switches as well. Can I cause any pressure using a bomb or some such? It seems after I throw them. No, I can't cause pressure with a bomb. They seem to explode a lot faster. After I've thrown them, when, when I've left them, but oh! Completely blocks off. I'd say, if anything, we need a dungeon item just to head through here, unless it's sand and the gust jar can get rid. No effect on any of its mows, any of its functions. No way to get that chest as of yet. Problematic, that's for sure. Just wondering if there's any secret shortcuts, but still. Okay, then we'll head through this door next. See if that can take us any further. Any further without just more skeletons, please. Oh, nice escape, sir. I'm actually quite in awe of that, but it seems we've got ourselves a hole to jump down if we need be. Get ourselves to where exactly? Is that just below us? It looks like it. The room we were in before, but we've got ourselves both. No, I know your. Ow! Flying jarry skeleton heads. Ah! Well, still, we've got ourselves a boat. To hit that eye. Not a problem, oh. Well, at least we can continue with further. Ah! Forward progress this way. There are tons more enemies want to appear. A free will. I wonder. Oh, I was about to say, I wonder if an arrow could defeat you in one shot, but no. About the same strength as my sword. Doesn't seem there's anywhere to bomb through. Oh, here we go. Now the problems begin. Ah! Arrows, go! Finish the beast. We know the rupee light lights are going to be here after all. And we got a zapper. Watch out, it's the zapper. Right, no rupee light like, no rupee light like, no rupee light like, obvious rupee light like. Had to be on the highest denomination of rupees, didn't it? But man, I think during this dungeon, we're gonna reach that 999 cap. Stunned with a boomerang, easily defeated. I wonder what goes there. At least we've got some forward progress. Hmm. Right. If anything, I think we need... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we definitely need the bow and arrow here. We're picking up... Ah, no, 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 okay, shoot that one. Shoot that one. Okay, we've opened up one door. Okay, we've got two doors to go through, though, so which one do I go through first is the real question. Okay. Now, it looks to me that instead of fighting you, we're using you. Have the pressure switches we need, or not so much? Hmm. We can't shoot you there. We get ourselves more arrows, but... I'm gonna wake you up somehow? Yes, yeah, so I've got to kind of go over to the other platform first, I know, but... Now I'm just confused. If we couldn't push it that way... Oh no, what am I doing? Why am I trying to... Why am I thinking that they're pressure switches when they're obviously not what they are? It's just a way for me to go round and step on them both myself. Which then activates both of them. I need to cancel that before I can attack, it seems. One defeated. Two defeated and roll before he explodes! A big treasure chest is ours! We got ourselves the compass! Use it to find the location of hidden items! That's not a problem, sir. Not a problem! The real problem comes is missing chests along the way. Doesn't seem like we've missed any at the moment. But there's a secret room, that's for sure. I'm gonna have to get into that. Hmm. 
Secret room! We'll get to you one day, I'm sure. No, there we go. That, oh, no, no, we're doing fine. Why am I pressing pause? I've got the bow and arrow on. We're all sorted. Oh, wait a second. What? Time switch? Wasn't expecting that, that's for sure. Okay. Let's defeat all these snakes. Get them out of our way. Where it seems we need to push ourselves some more blocks. Using the power of our sword. Let's push you. Can I push you as well? I'm not sure if I had to, but... Oh, wait a second. Did I push you way too far? I can't push you up now, can I? I only wanted to push you so far, I'm guessing. Hmm. No, oh, no, we can push it along the way. That's good. Phew. A bit worried for a moment there. Let's grab that. Let's see what it may do. Will the key drop that way? All the way to the bottom. Well then. I'll go after it. Hmm. Did something just fall down? Or was it just my imagination? No, something did fall down. And we're going after it. Through via big falling, a key is ours, as we fall without a scratch on us. Well, let's get looking around. We know that there's another room that way now. Should we go up this side now? I think we shall, because it looks to me like another key would fall, and it looks to me that maybe I can fall while small. That heart piece, it will be ours. I will snafu it. No problemo. Oh, that thing's gonna come right- Ah, skeleton, well, I don't mind about you. You're not gonna get me for the moment. Right, two... Levers here, of which I was a bit worried that I might summon evil enemies or something like that. Excuse me, skeleton, out the way. We'll take another blue kinstone piece. This must open the door, then. Oh, you just about managed to zap me? How dare you. Door open, let's go through. Another one of you, eh? How does arrows do? Oh, arrows one shot defeats. Nice to know. And we've got ourselves tons of enemies. Chests that we're just missing left, right, and center at the moment. Hmm. Okay, we've got to fire the arrow exact timing, or we're not hitting that at all. Right. Let's get through here and warp ourselves with spaces, but it seems to me that we need to activate something here. Aha! Here we go. Now we've got ourselves the right kind of range, but still small we need to be. I can't push that out. Hmm. Alright, so falling down there would get me right to the bottom again. We need at least a space of four, so it would be this middle one. And then we got to carefully walk so as not to... Oh, no, we need actually another space. Uh, 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 uh. It's cool, I got this. I actually needed a bigger space than that. I misjudged the gap. We need to activate that guy, but how am I... Oh, did it disband itself? How am I supposed to get here? Hmm... I've got to be already small, it seems, to reach in the first place. But finally, with that open, we continue on with... Aha! Now that's what I was looking for. Now that we're small, everything can be ours, including the piece of heart. We could dive down right now if we wanted, but I say we activate this first. Activate, he says me. Now that you're activated, if we head through here... Change our overall size, push the block, and get ready for combat. Oh, now the skeletons want to join in. Oi, you. Don't be doing that to me. We pull this lever, key falls down, all the way to the bottom. We're not going to go there completely big, that's for sure, because we want to get there when we're small. So, peace of heart, you will be mine. 
Let's minish size it down again. And step on through. Such a tiny thing to fall. I can't grab the key like this, for sure, but still. What's a key versus a piece of heart, eh? What is a key versus a piece of heart? We know what we want the most. We'll grab you. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to make a new heart container for even more life energy. Well, that said, which one do I push? One of these has got to be pushable. Aha. So now that we've made that shortcut back, if we head over here, the key shall be ours. You've got a small key. Use it to open locked doors and blocks. You can use it only in this dungeon, of course. And we know where two such doors lie. So we'll continue on next episode with this dungeon. A Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, I hope you'll join me then. I'll see ya. Bye bye.